everybody Ann here just finished my coffee and I'm getting ready to well I gotta do some stuff with the chicken coops I gotta do some stuff with the rabbit hutch um, all very boring stuff haul some water work with a compost heap um, work with some fencing around the garden areas Whew, try and pull up some posts um, I had a good night's sleep last night, but I woke up feeling very anxious, so you know what? I think I'm going to build a fire outside, and I'm going to put me on a big pot of beans. I put some in to soak last night, so they won't take as long to cook, and who knows what's going to go into that pot of beans, but that's what I'm going to do. That's my main goal today, aside from all the other stuff. Look at that. Yep, they've been soaking overnight. Oh my gosh, I put in too many beans. Nah, you can never have too many beans. So, I'm going to go do my chores, and then I'm going to gather some wood to build some fire. This is the little cedar tree that I had put in the bucket that the puppies tipped over a zillion times for Christmas. And I thought it was dead, so I kind of just tossed it by the side of the tiny house. Well... It looks like it's starting to get green. It wasn't even in the ground. It didn't even have roots in the ground, but it had plenty of still big roots with a little bit of dirt attached to them and it's rained several times. So I figured, you know what? It looks like it might live. So I just uh, planted it right here, a few feet away, I think enough feet away, from uh, this water tote here. Maybe it'll grow, maybe it won't. Oh no, but I want to definitely see if it will. I'm out of the front of my property right now. And it used to be that I did not have any true dandelions. Really, much of any at all. But now I've got a ton of them coming up. An absolute ton of them. Now, I know Mr. Lucas across the street had some. Um, so maybe they seeded over here this year. But this is a blessing. Because you know why? <laughs> because rabbits love to eat dandelion flowers and leaves. So I've got plenty of it. Oh, look at this. I didn't even notice. Wild chives. I think I'm going to pull these up and put them in my pot of beans. <laughs> Not really pull them up, just pull them apart. Oh, there we go. That's a nice little bunch. I need to go rustle me up some wood really make my days if I could find some mushrooms but I've been out looking all over the place and I haven't been able to find any mushrooms so that bums me out but anyhow yep oh there's pine cones yeah I'm gonna go collect some of them I got a nice pile of wild greens I'm gonna cut them up and then start a fire and put the beans on let's see all what I'm gonna put in there I think I'll put a little bit of salt the last of my wild mushrooms. Oh, I'm so sad. Let's see, some black pepper. I think that's enough. Some cumin. You can never have too much cumin. I love the taste of it. And it doesn't come out very fast out of the shaker. <laughs> uh, chili powder. And what else? Oh, a big can of tomato sauce. I think some more water would be in order. Yes. I chopped up some of my dehydrated cayenne. Now I'm going to add some dehydrated jalapeno peppers. And I know this is going to sound gross, but... A can of this banner sausage, I'm going to just dump it right in there. I'm not even going to cook it first um, because these beans are going to cook for a long time. So, <laughs> it's so congealed it won't come out. I'm going to have to pick it out with a ice pick or something. Doesn't that look delicious? Well, it might have before I added the sausage, but no, don't worry. It's going to turn out fine. Um, I just need to separate this all and stir it up. And then... <laughs> Go light my fire! So far so good. It's getting there. I just need some of these to burn down just a teeny bit more so I can put those this big old piece in that I couldn't fit into my uh, wood burning stove. Yep, it's a good night for a fire. I think I'd like to change this yet again. 
I think that I might just go ahead and take down the rocket stove. I love the rocket stove, but this is much more enjoyable. The benefit of the rocket stove is you can just put little tiny twigs in it and it'll produce a lot of heat. But I don't know. If I'm going to be sitting outside, you know what? I could change it around. You know, during the winter, I can just use, use a rocket stove so I can keep all the pieces. But for now, I think I'm just going to, not today of course, because it's all hot, um, on another day, kind of take this down and uh, make it bigger. I might have to move it because even though this is really high, um, it's right underneath this part. So I might need to move it somewhere. I don't know. Or move the canopy. So far it's not on fire. <laughs> so we're doing good. Look at that big old piece of wood. Haha. <laughs> Hopefully it'll catch. Yeah, I don't want the flames to get super big though. Hi, Papa. Hello. You're such a good, good boy. You are. Alright. Well, in about another five hours, it's going to be time for beans. And it's going to be dark outside by then. Ha <laughs> ha. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's a thing of beauty. But I need it to burn down so I can put the grate over the top of it. So I can cook my beans. It's almost 5 p.m. And the beans aren't even on. And they're going to take at least an hour to cook. Oh my gosh. There we go, the beans are on. Oh my goodness, <laughs> it is boiling. I have a feeling this is gonna be one delicious pot of beans. Let's give it a little stir. Whoops, it's boiling over. That's all right. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be good. Good, good, good. Would you look at that? There are 11 eggs and all 11 of my hens laid for me today. I love you, ladies. I believe these beans are done. Oh, yeah. They're going to be delicious. Ooh, look at that, you guys. Look at that. Let me taste it. Oh, my goodness. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. So good. Mmm. I love a pot of beans. Mmm. -hmm. Hot, hot. So, yeah, that's how I relax. Lighting a fire, putting on a pot of beans. You know, I, I, I cook a lot of beans, and seriously, you do not want to be in the same room with me after I've had a pot of beans, but... That's beside the point. Anyhow, today has been a good day. Not without drama. Yeah, there was a little drama involving the puppies. And I'll share that with you in the next video. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.